I dreamed horses. I breathed them as I slept in the barn. I tasted molasses as I fed sweet feet twice a day. My skin itched, hay trapped between my clothes and my skin, and a case of ringworm I picked up from a new pony. A hundred horses called to me as they ran, up and over a hill, down, down to the shore, and flailing to the sea. Their heads bobbed and turned as they looked for somewhere to go, a field, a farm, and then they were lost in the sea. I woke up quickly, panting and wet. I realized I'd fallen asleep with my shoes on. I pulled at the laces with dumb fingers, ran my hands through my hair, shook my head. I blew dust from my nose and stood up. A stack of Navajo blankets were stacked in the corner. A blue one lay crumpled on my bed. Bits and pieces of bridles had fallen off the shelf and were scattered in the dust. I could hear the horses munching and thought about the boy that lived in town. He sat on the corner every day, and I shared my tips with him. I hoped he used the money for food and not smokes or drugs. But he probably bought some of the white smoke, dreamly love or drug, that all the kids were using. He told me once that he dreamed of a girl who was half human, half horse. Her hair weaved itself into a braided curtain that covered her body, and her back half was a smooth white bear dancing nervously on four ginger-colored legs. I stretched and started into the day. My dream years ago, if I could have told you then, if I could have told you it was a dream, the moon was huge in the dream. The night sky was a drinkable blue, and I stood in the center of the yard. I could see the fencing stretching in all directions, up and over the hills, a night breeze ruffled all the leaves, and I heard her. She called to me from the hills, a squealing, and four strong puffs of breath. I heard her hoof drumming the earth, and when she was there, in front of me, I could see the breeze barely lift her mane, tease it like a lover. I could see her long head, I could see her eyes. I'd never seen blue eyes on a horse. I heard some people say that God looked at us through the eyes of a whale. But surely, this was God here, staring back at me from the blue, blue eyes of this white mare. In the dream, I approached her, and just before I touched her, I woke up, and the dream puffed into smoke. <laughs>